you know I've been searching for a large-scale solution to the problem of old videotapes. And I mentioned earlier on, this is one of many boxes. You hear all those? That's a big cardboard box full of videotapes, full of video films, that now I've got nothing to play them on. I've put most of them on DVD, so I can still watch them, but the actual original tape, I've got no need for anymore. And there must be so many Nottinghamshire homes in the same position. Videotapes are becoming outdated. VHS tapes are are a thing of the past now. And whilst there are still people who are using VHS, most of them have got the films that they want. You know, they, they don't want somebody else's old movies. Charity shops don't want them. They can't really sell them, only the odd one or two. You can't sell them at car boot sales. You can only really give them away, you know, the odd one or two if you can find somebody who wants them. And I was looking for a large-scale solution for this problem. Nottinghamshire homes jam-packed full of videotapes that you sort of don't feel you want to throw away. Seems wrong to put them in the bin, doesn't it? We looked into recycling. Not really possible. Although you can use the tape for things like knitting handbags we were hearing about, so that's quite interesting. However, I now have a solution. Jenny and Adam have emailed me about something that they spotted while they were on holiday in Belgium. There's a company there that turns them into, wait for it, bird boxes. How on earth do you turn videotapes into bird boxes? Well, Ognev Vlaminik is the man behind Video House Squatters. Hello, Ognev. Morning to you. Hello. Good morning. Where on earth did you come up with the idea to turn videotapes into bird boxes? Well, exactly the same problem as you had, actually. Um, I put all my videos on DVDs, and suddenly I had, I had a big pile of, of videotapes, which I didn't know what to do with them. So, exactly the same problem. Now, I've got a, a picture here, and I've, I've had a look at your website as well, and you do this, you know, on a big scale. There's lots of bird boxes that you've made using videotapes. Uh, and basically, you, it looks like you glue them together. Is that how you do it? Yeah, I stick them together with a kind of silicone, so it, it dries quite quickly. It's very strong. Uh, I made it, yeah, 300 of them, uh, which I put in the streets of Brussels. Um, unfortunately, I had to take them away because I didn't ask for any authorization. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So where are so, they now? Well, I, I've given them away to all, all kinds of people who've seen them in the streets, and they were very interested to get them for the garden. Uh, so they're all gone now, and uh, I think they, they, they have found a good place now. And has the idea caught on? You know, people saw what you did and thought, well, I can do that with my videotapes. I was quite amazed, actually, about the effect it had. I, I didn't think it would be such a big scale. I had so many mails of people thinking it was a good idea, and they, they wanted to have one, and they wanted to try to make one. Um, yeah, it was quite a surprise to me. Well, Ognev, I'm going to give it a go. I've got yep. some of my videotapes here, uh, and I've got a screwdriver, and I've got some super glue, so I'm hoping that will work here. And I want to try and make one during this morning's show. So can you give me some top tips on how to do it? Um, yeah, well, first of all, you have to have one of the boxes of the videotapes to yep. make a, the roof covering. Yeah, I've got one um, of those. Yep. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, you can take the paper out and you can take the plastic cover off it because it's it's not really necessary. Yeah. Um, and then you take one tape and you put it flat on the table uh, with the holes uh, in the bottom part. Um, and then you put uh, four entire uh, tapes uh, on top, which mm -hmm. will stick with the glow. Um it's a little bit tricky for the front one because I, I used to take one of the the, uh, the wheels out so the bird could fly inside and you'd have to drill a hole so the bird can actually go through. Now, it's not it's not necessary, um, but actually the bird can fly just underneath the roof, can also fly inside. Okay, so you don't have to. Do, I, I, I've got my screw, screwdriver here, though, so I thought I might give that a bit a go. So you take one of the wheels out yeah. to allow the birds to fly in and out, basically. Yeah, um, and then you put the 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 box on the on the top as as a lid, kind of, as yep. a sort of roof. Mm -hmm. I'm yep. amazed at how good they look. So, <laughs> um, do you think you're going to continue to do this? Yeah, but I've already started making new things. Um, not everything is on my website, but I've started to make furniture with those videotapes. Uh, I've got a slight little problem, and that's the fact that everybody is coming to me to give me the video uh, tapes. Oh, I, right. I, I don't have the space to put all of them, so I'm <laughs> trying to make new things so, so it keeps on rolling. Uh, so, it's mate, not easy. You strike me as an inventive kind of chap, and I have to say, when I first thought about this, I did wonder whether we could actually build buildings out of videotapes just by gluing them together, because they're, they're a bit like the shape of a brick, aren't they? Yeah, I made a roof covering, so I made a little pavilion which is standing in my garden right now, and it has two, uh, it has 1,300 videotapes on top of it. So you can actually make real roofs with it. There is no rain coming through, so it's, it works perfectly well. 
Wow, this is just great. Well, Ognev, it's great to talk to you. I think it's a fantastic idea. And uh, I'm going to try and do what you do this morning and maybe offer that as a solution to, to the problem of videotapes in, in homes in Nottinghamshire. We'll see where we go with it. Thank you very much for your help. No problem. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye. Yeah, my pleasure. Bye. Ognev Vlaminik, the man behind uh, Video House Squatters. And as you heard there, he's got other ideas for using videotapes as well. But the one that has taken off in Brussels is the one of creating bird boxes. Now, what I'm going to do is give it a go. I've got glue. I've got um, a screwdriver here. I've got a little bit of help if we need it as well. So by the end of today's show, I'm going to have a bird box. Andy Whitaker, BBC Radio Nottingham. Four minutes to eight. I mean, might need your help here. Are it's, you struggling? I'm struggling. I've, I've taken a videotape apart for the very first time. Well, oh. I say the very first time. First time since I was about ten when you do that mm. kind of thing, don't you? Are you being a typical man with this and not bothering to look at the instructions? Um, just thinking, no, I can do it. Um, and then, you know, taking out the wrong things. And Well, I don't really know. What, there's, there aren't any instructions apart from what he said to me on the radio a minute right. ago. Right. So I've now I've managed to remove the videotape. I've removed one of the wheels. So I've got one wheel left there. Right. I now need to punch out a hole on the other side to create the little entrance where the bird goes in. And then it's a bit of gluing after that. So um yeah, we'll see we'll see. So let's see if I can break this out now. Hang on. There we go. Oh, there we go. I bet you're loving doing this. Oops, I've made a right mess of that. Is it bringing <laughs> you back to your childhood? You know, the whole dismantling thing. Yeah, and... Did you used to do that? Or is it just boys no. that do that kind well, of thing? Well, I don't know. I can't remember that far back. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> um, no, I used to take all kinds of stuff apart just to see how it worked. And invariably, it never went back together again. <laughs> Um, which used to really please my parents. So I'm having a whale of a time, whale of a time. Thank you, Kirsty. If you want mind popping in in a bit anyway and just seeing how we're doing, that would be useful because an extra pair of hands would be quite good, yeah, I think. Yeah, I can oversee. I'm good yeah, at that. I bet you are. I'm good at being good in at charge. A delegation, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, thanks, Kirsty. 23 minutes to eight it is. Just in case you're wondering what on earth I'm doing, I think we found a solution to the problem of videotapes clogging up Nottinghamshire homes when nobody wants them anymore by turning them into bird boxes. This is the idea of a Belgian man who was on the show earlier on. He's done it in Brussels. And he said he went round Brussels putting them all up and uh, put about 200 bird boxes up in Brussels in trees and then got in all kinds of trouble because he hadn't asked for permission and had to go and take them all down again. He's since passed them on to other people and they've got them in their homes and in their gardens. So this is an idea. We could use this. We could create the same kind of thing here, the bird boxes up and down Nottinghamshire with your own videotapes. So if you've got a box of videos gathering dust and you've got nothing to do with them, this is an idea. And I'm trying to build one during this morning's show and not doing very well at the moment. I've broken one video in bits. So <laughs> I'll, I'll come back to that in a bit and see if we can carry on with it and hopefully get something that looks like a bird box by the time that Erin McDade pops in from Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust later on to effectively judge the bird box. So that'll be interesting.